8303 G8 full season offering from Pride at 3400 heat unit. Uh, this hybrid has great dawn tolerance, great stock strength, great stay green, and we really like how it responds to management. In fact, uh, historical data shows the response to nitrogen or higher populations has been uh, very, very good over the years. In fact, uh, this determinant ear style is always very consistent, no matter the population. A real high yielding offering for this maturity. Standing here looking at A7790G8. This is a 107 day hybrid or 3,250 crop heat unit variety. I really like its maturity. Has a strong fit on uh, really productive soils. Fits on loams to sands. Has great drought tolerance. Excellent standability and stock strength. And not to mention it has great late season disease. Some of my favorite features about this hybrid really are its beautiful green. Very showy and consistent and it shells amazing. Just looks great as you go through the combine. Feeds into the head well. It doesn't have tough stalks to it. Uh, just great harvestability on this hybrid. Really has a lot of yield to be had too. Uh, a lot of top end potential for its maturity. We're looking at Pride Seed A7818 G2. Just a really nice, consistent, top end yield potential hybrid. Great late season plant health and intactness. Some nice green, stay green that helps us fill the ears and maximize yield potential. This is a hybrid with some ear flex. I like what it does on clay soils at lower populations and it really can respond to management well. It's a hybrid with average test weight, not exceptional like you would expect a 7790, but very good ear consistency and good kernel depth. The stock strength on this hybrid is also very good. Looking at some A7373 G2, this is a 103 day hybrid, so 3,175 heat unit variety. This was planted late April. Very impressed with uh, the consistency of this hybrid and just overall top end yield potential. Has actually very great stocks on it. Great late season intactness and under high fertility, this can be a tall plant. Most of all, I really like the grain quality on the hybrid, a very heavy test weight hybrid, just a large, uh, consistent ear profile, often 16 kernel rows around with very nice length to it. This hybrid has a slightly longer husk coverage, which can be tight as we look at uh, later maturing growing seasons. But most of all, this one has loosened up and flared open this year. This is a hybrid that really is able to uh, punch outside of its weight class and run with some longer day hybrids in the 105, 108 day maturity range. With a lot of top end yield potential, really responds well to nitrogen and fungicide applications.